U.S. Six phones and more smuggled into the Fulton County Jail. Tonight, the Fulton County Sheriff's Office confirms it has an ongoing corruption investigation and four security officers who work for a contract company arrested. Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live at the jail where he's been pouring over the warrants against these four. Mark, you found some allegations that seem shocking. Yeah, a Fulton County Sheriff's Office official says this investigation started in May and more arrests are expected. But for now, four young women are residents of the jail where they worked until yesterday. <laughs> They work for strategic security. I can't confirm that they have all been terminated. The Fulton County Sheriff's Office says it turns out four security officers working for a contractor at the county jail were security problems. Let's go into it. So we got Breesha Tate. Let's back up for a minute. Breesha Tate, Laquana, with no A in between the A and the, uh, between the U and the N, Ballard. Uh, Regina Harris and Anesia Silas. All of them got uh, extra extra weave in there. Uh, that one got twists. Most of them got braids. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because it's summertime. Uh, they all got their county blues on. The one over here with the blonde, uh, Regina Harris, she looked like she still got a bad attitude about it. Uh, and they all turned the same way. It's pretty interesting. Maybe it's because you know how women, they always talk to the side. I don't know. Let's get the rest of the story and then we're going to break it down. Security officers working for a contractor at the county jail were security problems. Records suggest Briasha Tate admitted using a book to hide phones. Allegedly confessed to smuggling in cell phones in a cutout inside a book? Yes. Now one might say that Fulton County Sheriff's Office is throwing the book at her. After a corruption investigation, we counted 10 criminal warrants naming her. Mm. Records indicate after she reported to work Tuesday, she was transported to the jail investigations unit's office and that Ms. Tate stated she had sexual intercourse with an inmate inside of the bathroom in the tower on floor 7 South on three separate occasions. When these women sit here and tell y'all about how their high standards are and about what's going on and what they ain't gonna tolerate from a man, they getting bust down inside of the inside of the jail cells on their regular jobs, and they getting they falling in love to the point to where they now they putting their life on in danger. Not only from having and 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 basically corrupting the system, they're a part of the system that is corrupted as far as our uh, making sure that we keep our jail safe and our inmates in prison, but they're also smuggling contraband in there, and so she's willing to put her freedom on the line and give it up for a real one inside of the jails. So you telling me these dudes are still getting this level of box inside of the jail. Now, I mean, you know, it's, it's not a, a great selection, but you take what you can get, and I'm, I'm with it, I'm with it. And so they probably just bust her down in order to get the stuff in there. She And she admitted, and she's volunteering information without a lawyer present, that she had sexual intercourse with an inmate inside of a bathroom in the tower on the set. And these are contractors. These are not even people that work for the county. These are contractors, y'all. Let's continue. Let's get to the whole thing. That Ms. Tate stated she brought a total of six cell phones inside of the jail and gave them to the inmate. That Ms. Tate stated she cut portions of the pages of the inside of a book and concealed the phones inside of the hole in the book. That Ms. Tate stated she brought... Now they know that she ain't bringing no book in there to read. They know that that's contraband. They just set you up, baby strips paper laced with chemicals used for smoking inside of the jail on two separate occasions that Ms. Tate stated she received payments from the inmate via cash app for the contraband items she brought in and gave to him and that her cash app payment summary from the inmate showed a total of $1,682. We can't screen for integrity. Natalie Ammons of the Sheriff's Office has terminated security officer Regina Harris faces three warrants related to a contraband cell phone provided to an inmate. Ms. Ammons says terminated security officer Lacuna. Those ones just didn't admit that they was busting it down for a real one, but we're going to get there. Ballard is accused of sending explicit photos and videos to an inmate, plus a couple of conspiracy charges involving conversations about how to bring cigarettes and cell phones into the jail. Mm. And Ms. Ammons says terminated security officer Anisia Silas faces a conspiracy charge involving a phone charger and a charge involving giving an inmate unauthorized food, namely a chicken pot pie. <laughs> now, ah! 
<laughs> so they bringing food, cell phones, busting it down for a real one, smoking strips, thinking about smuggling cigarettes, the whole nine yards. Listen, we ain't even got to worry about what's, if this is what's happening in the jails, imagine what's happening in the streets. Let me say this for the people in the back. If this is happening in the jails, imagine what's happening to the people in the streets. It's, it's bad out here in these streets, and these women are absolutely busting it down for a real one, no matter what state that they in. Aniza decided that she wanted to bring in some chicken pot pie. I got some chicken pot pie last night. Did you bring some down here? Oh, man, we got to get us some chicken pot pie, y'all. Listen, it's, it's so good, and that chicken pot pie was slapping. They sending nudes, they busting it down, and all of them fit the description. All of them fit the description. And we're supposed to hold these people to high standards and listen to what y'all talking about on the internet. I've seen a lot of stuff happening over the internet over the last uh, maybe couple months that just gave me pause. Some of the ones that were supposed to be the toughest and the hardest on men made themselves available to some of the worst in, in society right after they got, got done listening to some of the to most toxic women on the internet. I'm not, I don't believe these women when they tell me stuff. I don't by default believe women in general. I just don't believe that they are believable because they will say anything in order to get some attention, to get some visibility. And so when you see these women that's on Instagram and TikTok and all of that, and they in the comments talking about how they going for these high value men, What should we, what, what conclusion should we draw when on at every turn for every job that they get, right? I just was looking at an article and I did a review, not a review. I had it on Quick Hits on the Millionaire Morning Show. Make sure y'all tap into the Millionaire Morning Show about how <laughs> Chicago police officers was over there fighting over women. First of all, you never, ever mess up your bag. Secondly, you never put yourself in a position to go to jail for anybody. And I mean anybody. And then third, we all know that they don't have any standards, but then all of a sudden they just, they just so happen to just get to Instagram and, and, and TikTok. Then all of a sudden everybody is only talking to high value men that got six packs and six feet, six feet tall. Get out of here, fam. That ain't what Regina Harris was doing. That ain't what uh, Aniza Silas when she was bringing in that chicken pot pie. And Breesha, Breesha, Riasha, whatever her name is. She was busting it down for a real one inside of the bathroom. So when y'all get done talking about all of y'all great and high standards, come and holler at me and I'm going to show y'all this video to help y'all to understand what y'all really dealing with and what your single baby mama is doing it for a real one inside of the county jail. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description. We got some good content in there. I just did. Just drop the video in there. Also, T. Hanley, 40% off your first order, 20% off of life. I love you. I appreciate you. You guys are the greatest on earth. Let me know what y'all think about this video. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.